I'm out here, I just fed the horses and <clears throat> you'll notice, hey Dan, this guy is in my water. Now, I know I could like be a hero and just swoop my, just dump him out, but I'm afraid he's gonna drown that way. So I think, let's see here. Hey buddy, you want some help? Oh, no, no, okay. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, here, I don't want you to really, let me, okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, I saved an Earl. Isn't it funny how he's brown? Run, little guy. <laughs> I can't believe I just saved a lizard. <laughs>
and just swam with her again. And that time she was like really into it. Like we swam all the way across the pond last night. It was, it was awesome, I won't lie. It was a really good time. Uh, and then today I'm looking out there going, mm, there's a few little swimmy things out there. I, nah, nah, she's not asking me to do it, thank goodness. So really happy that she's really content eating. I'm gonna do my chores now. I was walking around to see if I could see Ima because I promise you that Imogene was just right here. Uh, which is so weird because before I fed, all three donkeys were standing down this hill right here. And I said to myself, like, I want to start this sprinkler, move the sprinkler up the hill, and they're not here now. I wonder if she's over here hanging out with Dink. Oh, there's my I'm. I wanted to make sure I gave you love too, baby. Now, I'm and I have a special routine that every day, every day after morning breakfast, when the horses make their way out, Ima makes her way up for some loving. And I love that. Beverly... What are you talking to him for? <laughs> I can't wait for the day that Dinky is fixed and able to participate in other donkey activities that don't involve making babies. Um, and we haven't decided yet, like, where he'll live. But there's a part of me that really wants a girlfriend for him. Not in that way of, like, reproducing, but maybe like a Buffy. Or a Gidget. Maybe. Those are big maybes and way down the road. But don't think it's not on my mind. We got enough on our plate right now. Trust me. And uh, I heard that it might rain next week one day. Did you know that, I'm? That would be awesome, huh? We could use a little, a little wet down. A little growth rejuvenation in the pastures. It's gotten a little crispy, huh? You've been handling it really well. I'm a jeans getting older. So is Dan. And it's crazy to look back on some of the memories with them in it and think about how much more young and spry and active they used to be. Heck, it's crazy to think back about how much young and spry and active Lester and I used to be. Now we walk outside and do feet up and we're like, well, let's sit down for 30 minutes and before we do the next part of everything. <laughs> it's crazy what the heat will do to you. And well, I feel bad that I don't have all of the fabulous accommodations for these guys. Y'all want some AC, huh? Yeah. Some AC in the summer, maybe some heat in the winter, just a little bit, not bad. Oh, I just heard your neck crack, baby. Are you okay? <laughs> Holy moly, Bevy. That was all for a fly, huh? I'm a jeans gonna go get a drink of the new fresh water mama filled up. I still have to empty this one out. I do. And then I have to go out to that barn out there. Way out there and refill it. But I'm a little bit worried that y'all just missed like your, your dinner dinner. You want me to get you something else? Maybe? We'll wait till the horses go back out, okay? We'll get you all a good dinner. Thanks for hanging out with me. I needed it. Perhaps we'll try a beer tomorrow? Oh, Dan, you like that idea? You like beer? Beverly's like, I like beer. I like beer and booty scratches. Well, we'll make that work, okay? Mama loves you. Oh, I do. I love you so much. Oh, you want it tonight instead? We'll see. Okay? I love y'all. My little donkey friends. Oh, are you going to kiss him? You going to kiss him? <laughs> All right, babies. Oh, you're going to go get a drink with your mama? That's the water I was going to dump out. Good thing you didn't have to drink a lizard. Oh, he might still be down there, Bev. She's like, mm, you mentioned being thirsty for beer. I guess I'll settle for water. All right.